Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to Tuesday Night Torg. We are all in a good mood, uh, which is good because I cannot promise that will last through the whole evening because we're in a roche. Tuesday Night Torg here on the Ulysses International Stream. I am JM the GM, and with me as always are my horses. Uh, when we last left off, things, Bad things were in a state that much can be determined. Uh, a wedding was crashed. That's still, true. jury's still out on how the I after party. Yeah, that's cool. That's right. Like we don't know how the reception is going. We don't know. We don't know anything about that. Um, but we do know that, right? Love, true love, is what brought them there it's together. Awesome. Yeah. Um, the group continued their fight against the death cult as Lady Salvo. Uh, Reconning <laughs> that uh, rapidly soaking wicker basket with the per <laughs> the cultist she shot, as uh, it dra was dragged to a shrine of the cult. Patala Ek. Yep, Patala Ek. Uh, the rest of the group uh, chased down more of these cultists. Uh, Anton and V uh, got Dakshata out of the burning uh, tenement. Uh, uh, Edith faced off against several of these uh, these cultists, managing to survive, but also lose her crossbow. Uh, thinking she found it, Lady Salvo grabbed it out of a beggar bowl, which turned out to be a king cobra, but managed to be too fast for the cobra. That's right. She had the reflexes. I'm going to go with as a mongoose, because not only did you snatch it, but you dropped it, like, before the snake, Honey like... Badger? That's right, the snake is very confused. Uh, the group then uh, discovered that not only was uh, uh, Lady Salvo informed them that not only did she see the cultists going to the shrine, but also a, uh, a rather heavy basket that seemed to be filled with peaches and an adinos, uh, tyrannic. And so the group entered, kicked out the door of the shrine Edith and Lady Salvo, weapons drawn, boot, door, and inside of the shrine there was a, uh, a member, uh, se you know, several people around the shrine, uh, one being a large, massive sort of hybrid that was standing up, screeching in pain as this kind of fleshy bubble uh, tore apart and, and he arose out of this husk. Uh, there is also several like acolytes, uh, two attendants, and then the main priest, who, as they watched, was pushing the blurred form of Peaches into the blurred form of Tyrannic on the altar, merging them into some strange hybrid. And that is where we're going to start off. I assume drama card, Lady Salvo? Yeah, okay. I, 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 I figured. Um, Let them have it is the top card. This is a dramatic scene because of the people involved, so that's worse for me. Uh, heroes go first and have flurry. Attack and intimidate are the approved actions. I should just scratch out let them have it and say Lady Salvo's card. <laughs> uh, so, uh, fleshy hybrid, or uh, hairy hybrid monstrosity, priest, Two acolytes and about four attendants who are kind of moving about the place. So I'm guessing priest who's shoving peaches in the tyrannic first. Yeah. To stop that. Fan that phantom is right. Peaches gives tyrannic wings. <laughs> like Red Bull. Like Red Bull. Not a sponsor. Um, Salvo, would you like to go first? I suppose I will. Uh, JM, I will. So there's four attendants, right? There are four attendants. Yeah, I will take out all four. All right. That'll be a minus six. Correct. Can we just speed it up is and say any, they're all dead? Is there <laughs> I mean... any other penalties to be trapped in here? Uh, there, are, there are no other penalties to track in here, said okay. the GM, going, hmm, that may have been a mistake. No. Well, my powers are active because I did put you them did in put last them time, back so. in. Yes. All right, so uh, we're we're gonna roll it. 
Okay, that's a good die roll. That's a 16 on the d20, which gives me a plus. Plus three to my 22, which makes it 25 minus six, 19. Well, their dodge is a 10. You are up by <laughs> nine. Oh, no. So it's a... It's a good a, success. A, all right. So I'm going to roll damage once or for four times? Uh, roll roll four times. What's your base okay. damage just kind of coming out of the gate? 14? Yes, uh, four, AP, 14. AP yeah. two. Correct. All right, the first guy gets an 18, second guy gets an 18, third guy gets a 16, and the last guy gets a 19. Uh, your your uh, destiny card for taking the approved action is leadership. And uh, what does it look like, Lady Salvo? I, I'm going to just kind of spin in a circle, uh, like I'm back on Hogan's Alley, and just in the, the, uh, the muzzle flares are like strobes, like... You can just sort of see the you know, attendant one, ah, attendant two, <laughs> ah, attendant three, ah, you know, it just bam, 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 bam. And that leaves me with a, a smoldering barrel as I uh, kind of gesture the others uh, end after me. And I would say, let's, let's break this party up before it has a chance to get started. Well, with that, what are you guys doing? <laughs> mm, gonna get some tea. Let me, let me look through my powers. <laughs> You're going to set something on fire? Hey, yeah, there it is. Pyrokinesis. <laughs> I don't use it enough. No. Oh, and the most important thing that I forgot to mention. Probably should have mentioned this before Lady Selva shot. That's on me. But one of the... Well, no. What, they haven't gone yet. Never mind. I mentioned nothing. The GM keeps his secrets. <laughs> there should be no attendants left. They all fell Yeah, over. no, the attendants are, are dead. So there's... The guy D. shoving peaches into Tyrannic. Yes. The, the blobby thing. thing. No, no. So it is resolved into sort of this, uh, it looks to be, you've seen a werewolf. It, they at will? first, at their castle. <laughs> I thought this is a bit we were doing. Um, you see, for a brief moment, uh, you think it is a werewolf. But what you actually see is it seems to actually be more of a hybrid. Uh, chest with like chest is is human. Oh, yeah, you said human with a wolf head human with a wolf head the fur is like mangy starting at the elbows until it is full by the wrist and it ends in just savage blood drenched claws okay so there's only two left then wolf thing no no wolf thing mage and uh the uh so the the two like sub priests who are standing next oh, okay. to the main priest yeah. that's what i was trying to say yeah anyway one trying to put peaches into Tyrannic. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna set him on fire. Fire! <laughs> ah, thank you. Use the first one because we don't That's want good. that. That's better. Twenty-four versus dodge or dex. Twenty-four versus dodge or dex. Uh, that will be an outstanding success. Ooh. Go ahead and roll the damage. The flames erupt around like a flash. Whoa! <laughs> I had to rein myself in there. I was prepared that was, though. That was Maddie, Maddie put me through pretty, detox. Yeah, I know. Uh, two five. So twenty-four fire damage to twenty-four whatever. fire <laughs> damage. All right. Um, one. Uh, he's going to soak. I figure there's a tactical play on your part not to try to soak any damage from the aspirin. It's like, nah, I'll just see. Oh, there. Those guys are oh, sweet. <coughs> Plus 11. Do I catch his attention? Oh, you have got his attention. Like, the all of it. Uh, <laughs> but he also seems to be unfazed by your flames. The, the, the flames kind of lick around the altar stone. They, uh, uh, they, you know, they, they kind of singe him. He kind of steps out as if uh, coated in, in soot, but he does not seem to be uh, harmed in any way. And you can see that something is going on, like tyrannic 
uh, Tyrannix, uh, it almost looks as if sort of, uh, Lily, you might want to mute me. Uh, his skin has ballooned and bubbled into sort of a cocoonous type shell. Ugh. And there seems to be things moving around inside of it. Stop it. Card? Maelstrom. V and Edith. Edith, what do you want to do? I mean, I would like my crossbow back because <laughs> then I could shoot things. Would you like to? Apparently, uh, that is not. <laughs> well, so it's funny that you mention that, as as it's almost as if Edith is single-mindedly focused on recovering this thing that has stood in for relationships and confidence, and, you know. Edith, uh, confidence. Yeah, heart. I, I won't. I won't say brains because Edith's got a ton of those. But you know, two two out of three others traveling along, uh, sort of a a path a road. Uh, you do see reacting one of the attendant priests pulls out Edith's crossbow and begins to level it. Go for him. I mean, or... And the, the great news is that I've already not been shot by my own crossbow once. <laughs> not. That's true. I mean, you were shot by it but managed to bend reality just enough to get out of the way. Yeah. Um, you got any benches? Uh, yeah, this is a little shrine. There are a ton of, uh, <laughs> of, of small little two-person low wooden benches. <laughs> um, Lily loves a good bench. Yeah, whatever the system. Benches <laughs> get whatever things done. Dorisha Get comes things through. done. Yeah. Are you going to attempt to use the bench as an improvised weapon? Yeah, I think so. All right. Ripping a bench <laughs> off the floor, Edith strides into combat through the attempt to get her crossbow back. Uh, you want to give me a uh, bench roll? <laughs> yeah, is it strength? Strength plus, yeah. So it's you're going to use uh, your melee weapons. Okay. And uh, then it will Can be... Can I have uh, strength? No. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Uh, melee weapons? Yes. No, Edith is benching the other team. Uh, chat. Um, how's a 10? I mean, a 10 is a number. <laughs> Uh, to hit if, these if guys, I were to... uh, you would you would hit these guys with a ten. It would not be a good success. Uh, to do that, you would need to get uh, to twelve. So, you have anything that would give you a katana? Pierce the cocoon. I have an action card, which will go. give me a plus three, so a total of thirteen. All right, yeah. What's your strength, Lily? Uh, is a nine. All right, so you're going to do ten base damage plus a bonus die. No. <laughs> Keep thinking of like I care that. No, I no, she's still. But total of eight. Total of eight. Eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, eight, eight on my die. Oh, okay. And I thought... then base of ten, you said. Yeah. All right, uh, Lily. Uh, so eighteen. Good lord, said the jam. It's <laughs> plus eleven. That's two wounds. Well, they've got possibilities for a reason. So let's make that happen. 14 is a plus one. That's not good enough. 28. It's plus nine. All right, so despite his best efforts, yes. uh, Edith, what does it look like when you hit this attendant priest right across his uh, yes. smarmy face? Um... He's, is he, he's not the one holding the crossbow, is he? No, that's the one. you got. The crossbow hits the ground. Oh. Yeah, I take him out of the knees, and he hits his head on the ground. Oh, jeez. Okay. And I, I grab the uh, crossbow out of his hands as he falls. All right, so Lily, that's your card for taking him uh, is alertness. All right, V, she, you are... He uh, parked that bench right on his face. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing pithy to say through clenched teeth. 
Okay. Can you describe this altar to me? So I'm outside because I clearly yeah, you, said you I'm clearly not have not storming gone in. in. If I peer around the door, what does this altar situation look like? So, there is a bloody-handed uh, priest uh, wearing uh, basically kind of like open robes, sleeveless robes that kind of hang down over like uh, kind of uh, black and red vestments over essentially kind of a loincloth. Because again, it's very hot in here. There are four dead attendants. They're there are seated. two benches, uh, two small little seating benches on the, and again, when I say benches, I just mean like, you know, uh, well-crafted, but not like backed benches, just like two, you know, two stabilizing legs and something between. Two on one side, uh, three on the other. The two tall, thin statues of the Gaunt Man, both looking down at a, uh, at first, you know, it looks like a like a rough hewn altar, uh, made out of basalt, is kind of your guess. Your you know, but as you look at it, it sort of starts narrow at the feet, widens out to just wider than shoulder width, and kind of comes back in. And there's a small sh like shallow indentation, and tyrannic. Uh, this this green fleshy membrane now kind of seals the freshness in. Okay, so the altar is firmly affixed to the floor. Does it look like it could be knocked over? It is. Well, it could. It you hmm, you don't can't tell if it's firmly affixed to the floor, but you are guessing it weighs probably close to a ton. You could knock Tyrannic off the altar with a flying cyber nun kick. Well, I'm trying to decide if I should... Mr. Furious can have a possibility. If I, should, if I should burst the bubble or if I should just dislodge the bubble. Because I'm not very strong, so you know, I can run at it. It would probably be more like, eh. You can pierce it and just let it ooze everywhere. Ooze? Mm. I don't have any cards. Oh, wait! Or you could shoot Wolf Boy in the face. I'm sure when he goes, Jim, he's going to leap yeah. into action. Could I play, or is this new combat so we don't have any cards? You don't have any, uh, no, it's, it's continued oh, here. Oh. Yeah, I said it continued, so the combat, you can have the card oh. that's could in there. Could I play alertness <laughs> to, to find some detail or something that would give me a good idea of whether or not I should get him off the altar, if I should pop the bubble, like, something about the situation that would give me an idea of what I should do. Because I really don't want to kill my friend, but also I don't want him to be... He might turn into a wonderful butterfly. Um, Captain sure. Character art. He has uh, been eating a lot. You can point. see kind of at the foot of the, uh, of the altar, there are several Gar like not garlands, but several dried corpse flowers, kind of adding a stench of rotten meat to the air, and kind of arranged around those in the in the uh, in the center, there are two bowls that are kind of smoldering. Uh, they seem to be made out of copper. They've got something uh, burning inside them, not like with fire, but right, just kind of smoldering. So there's the, this kind of heady scent to the air, and lying between them are two silver. Uh, very tarnished, like um, you know how silver gets when you like you, you kind of, like pure silver when you kind of leave it out. Uh, but you can see that there's writing on that, and that's kind of where the the main guy was before. Uh, you, like you saw him as he kind of stood up and pushed Peaches into into Tyrannic. So those may have your best bet at attempting to. Would you say laser off the silver? <laughs> And then how far am I from the laser tablets of doom? And there the laser are, well, silver? Well, I don't know that there's laser silver. I, I misspoke. The silver uh, tablets of doom. Oh, the silver tablets of doom. Uh, this whole thing uh, from entrance to the back is only about 15, um, uh, 15 yards. Okay. And about half that in width. It's not a very large... And sorry, and between me and the altar is this wolf man. 
Uh, or the, is he to the side? He is to the side. Okay. The high priest is in, is between you and the altar. Okay, high priest between me and the altar. Lily is to the li- right of the high priest, beating some guy to death <laughs> with a bench. Uh, the other attendant who has, like, the other, like, uh, assistant ritualist has this look of terror and then anger. Um, as he, he seems to be very focused on Edith and his hands start going through, um, what seem to be very ritualized. Interrupting. Uh. But we get a flurry, so we get to go again. Yes, you guys got a flurry. We go, go, they go, go, then we get to go again. Oh, they get to go before we go again? Nerds! Because I don't want Edith to get attacked, but I also don't want him to finish whatever is happening to Tyrannic. No, no, you guys get one. All characters on your side, on the side with the flurry, take their normal actions, and then everyone gets another turn. It's different than the flurry card. So oh, you, you guys will all go. You're being attacked. <laughs> it's a ferocious creature. No, so cute. Okay. In that case, your next character, Ross, will have to have an animal companion. Oh, he can't hear us. So <laughs> cute, Ross. Okay. I would like to peer around. Okay. And try and take a shot at one of the silver tablets, because I know silver has a pretty low melting point. Okay. And see if I can start melting that, and then I'm going to try and shoot the bitch. All right. Okay. So this is... Energy weapons. Oh, that's a 10. And a 6. So 16, and so that's a 13 to hit the silver tablet. You hit with a good success. Go ahead and roll it. Okay, oh shoot. I don't have any d6s out. So that's 14 base. What's the melting point of silver? (laughs) I would hope it's lower. 15 points of laser damage. I mean, it is it is 1,700 degrees. Look, my laser's really hot, okay? If uh, I can't melt it, I just kind of want to, like... How many how many points of damage did you do? 15. 15? Uh, you definitely put a score uh, through it uh, as you hit it. It, it. it does burn a small hole through it, but the, more, the most of the damage is the scoring across the text. Perfect. All right, I believe that's everyone. You mentioned how flurry works, right? We go, you go, we go again. No, no, we go again, you go again. Oh. Yeah, that's why I asked. So, uh, still caught by surprise. (laughs) Uh, Second round of the flurry. My guys are going to burn through all their possibility just staying alive through round one. Uh, Edith, uh, what would you uh, like to do now that you have your crossbow back? Um, I want to shoot the wolf guy with a silver bolt. Yeah, you do. All right, go for it. Yeah, you do. As she stands on the bench, which is on the guy's chest. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me, excuse me. Yeah, he starts to move, and she stomps down with her foot <laughs> as she raises her crossbow, and there's a wet noise from Touched beneath her. my crossbow. <laughs> Why we don't play with other people's toys. That's a 20. Ooh. Are you sure? Are you sure it's not a little lower? Mm. Uh, so Pretty a, sure. So a 20. Uh, uh, Edith, a 20 is a normal success. What? Do you have one anything to get you one more point? to make it a good one. I do not, unless anybody wants to give me a card. Oh, wait, nope, it is large, so you're at plus two to hit it, so that would make it a 22. So go ahead, and what is the base stamp? Yeah, the, this thing is huge. To hit it, you get a plus two, or is large, you get a plus two to oh, hit dang. it. The best I got for you, Lily, is romance. <laughs> not in this case. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> um, <laughs> base damage is 13. Uh, oh, but it's a it's a silver bolt. It's I'm sorry. Get it. Now, get this, it. 
creature is a hybrid something or other, yes? This creature is a is a hybrid something or other. I feel like that is a very accurate term. Creatures with the Lycanthrope special ability take plus four damage. Okay. Roll your damage. Uh, well, it's a 13, and if they're a Lycanthrope, it's 17. And you get a bonus die because you got the plus two to hit him, so... Oh, I thought that was... Okay. Roll that six. Roll that six. That's all. So four. So total, 21. 21 or possibly 17. <laughs> All right, uh, the bolt strikes the creature in the chest, who just kind of looks down and swipes at it with his claws. Just kind of cutting the bolt into four different parts as it hits the ground. Which part? Oh, you do. Uh, uh, not no, it's, one per, it's oh, one, one, per, per? one per round. I'm trying to stockpile. <laughs> oh, you did attack. You get drama. Drama! How appropriate. Said, said the DM to himself. All right, who's going next? Edith shoots at this thing. It it howls. There's there's blood pour, like kind of oozing down its pale skin, but it doesn't seem to be affected at all. Salvo or Anton? All right, Lady Salvo, who are you attacking? Uh, first, I want to use my Inspire card. Ooh. Are you giving meaning yeah. to this life? Well, I played it. I put it in the pool during my first round. Can I can I play it? Sure. During the recording? Yeah. Okay. So uh, all Storm Knights can choose to get one possibility or a draw from the Destiny deck or recover three shock. I am choosing a possibility. All right. And to, uh, to, to give you the story beat, you know, Lady Salvo will say, think of all the things we've defeated so far. Dinosaurs, cyber demons, any foe, no matter how bizarre, can be beaten. Uh, I'm gonna make a maneuver roll against the uh, the wolf-headed guy. All right, go for it. Ugh. Okay. Uh, well, that's a possibility. Uh, great. Wow. Lovely. Uh, okay. Well, it's better than nothing. Uh, how about a uh, 18? And which one are you? The wolf-headed guy. Oof. The wolf-headed guy and 18, that is a normal success. Okay. Uh, so the, the visual on this one is I'm going to shoot the base of the statue so that it topples kind of over a little bit and blocks him from not oh, moving yeah, around. Oh, yeah, you much. were doing a maneuver. I apologize, Ross. Nice. Um, yeah, okay, it's the same thing. All right, never mind. I thought it might have been a little bit better. Yeah, I rolled terrible, so. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so, do you want to make him uh, stymied or vulnerable? I with with his defenses, I want to make him vulnerable. All right. Uh, the, 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 uh, the creature kind of steps back a bit, trips up on the the statue, losing its balance just a bit. Anton, Edith, or, or Anton and V. Oh. Edith shot. She shot. Oh, she shot. Did something, but he kind of pushed okay. it off. Go for it, Anton. Um, do you want to light on fire now? So the one guy that was pushing in, he kind of steps back. He's no longer involved yeah, with no, that. No, he is that definitely, be, yeah, done. And he's not gesticulating. The that other guy, guy is. The other guy is. <laughs> hey. Oh, it was so close. I don't know. I still Do a Here, you can have Tyrannic back. Eighteen versus Dodger Dex. Dang it! Okay, uh, that would be a outstanding success. Oh, nice! I'm gonna just preemptively spend these uh, possibilities. Seventeen is plus four, which is not good enough. What'd you get? Twenty fire. Five, so five, five. Up by fourteen. Ouch! Okay, come on, Di, you can do it. Nice. Curse of Thule. Ooh, it's a ten. Thank you. Curse it again. That's a 20. That's a 20 exactly. He has no possibilities left. But he kind of looks around, smiles, pats the fire <laughs> out of his hair, and snarls at you. Go up, V, you're up. 
Okay, he stopped well, doing this stuff. I will just Get have down. to shoot him so he doesn't shoot Edith. Okay. And then I'm ducking back around the door. <laughs> I figured that's a that's a fair fair move for V. Maybe you could keep the door here and just kind of go. Well, yeah, but I mean, just cover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever cover. The door frame is covered. You need a better dice box. You need a better dice box. That was a five that rolled over. Darn you! (laughs) Okay, that's a seventeen, so it's a four, so that gets me to twenty-one. Oh, fourteen. Fourteen. To hit that guy? Yeah. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a good success. Using the should be out of possibilities. He's out of personal possibilities. Oh. So that's 16 points of laser damage to his mage mage self. 16 is up 9. Which is a wound. Okay, I'm going to do it. 17 is... Burn through those. Four. Oh, I'm, oh, I am. Four. Not enough. All right, what's it look like, V? There's a risk willing to take. What's it look um, like? Um he now just has a hole. Like a small chest. like, like yeah. right through the heart. Mm-hmm. Alright, as Shut he drops, the rest of the rest of my people finally get to do something. <laughs> it's a very musical night. <laughs> it is a musical night. We just have to be careful. We um, sang snippets. We're being good. Alright, so let's start with Well, I don't need my miracle section open. Somebody asked me what I like most about uh, Torg, and it's the fact that there's no planning for Torg. <laughs> not with the cards. Really great, not. great lineup for for villains. Let them have it. No. All right, uh, <laughs> Lady Salvo. What is your willpower or spirit? Uh, spirit of ten. All right. So a twenty-one. Uh, again, you see that priest kind of make that clawing motion. Uh, you are stymied and lose two possibilities Shoot them. if you have them. I don't know if you still have them. I, I did. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, with his multi action, he is also. Call shenanigans. Going to throw a knife at at uh, Anton. So Anton, thirteen. Those are those are some X possibilities. Uh, so, no, I can't do that. I've already fixed my roll. Uh, so Anton, uh, your toughness is twelve. So, uh, it hits you hilt first, kind of in the temple. You stagger back a bit, take two shock, and that is it for you. Uh, The wolf monstrosity leaps at Edith. No! That was the head priest? Yeah, that was the head priest. Leaps at Edith and will make weak sauce. Two. Uh, make a multi-attack on Edith to hit her twice. Edith is whirlwind. So, and then when attack is the approved action. Okay. Oh, wait, no multi-attack penalties at this point. They can make their normal move. All right, so here's what's actually going to happen. It's going to leap to Edith with one attack and then leap to Anton for the second. <laughs> and he is vulnerable, so I've got to remember that. No. No, I'm vulnerable. Or I'm, oh. oh, he's vulnerable. That doesn't apply here. Uh, 27 we attack him. is plus 9. All right, uh, Edith, you are hit yep. for an outstanding success. And Anton, you are hit Rude. for an outstanding success. Uh, these claws cut through your armor as if they are not, it's not even there. Did you really play a romance card? <laughs> uh, Lily. Edith will take. Oh no. Two wounds and four shock. Lily, do you have any possibility? Anton will take the yes. same. Yes. Okay. 
Thanks, Ross. I have possibility. And also the gracious GM who uh, told yes, me that I, I have Yes, I did one at the start of tonight say that there would be a one possibility refresh. Some of you may think that that makes me soft, but... Eh. He likes 21. to keep his friends. All right. Edith? I'm running out of possibilities. <laughs> I'm not really that worried about it. He said... He I need, me. um... I need a a good success to soak any of the wounds. You need a good success to soak one wound and an outstanding success to soak them all. I have drama if you need it. Um, okay. But all I got a second eight. chance if you pull, roll bad. What'd you get? 18 on a soak. So that'll, you will still take one of the two wounds. Okay. <laughs> Do you want drama so you can roll higher? Um, I, I rolled a second time. Okay. All right. Sometimes they can stack. Not always. Uh, yeah, drama acts as a possibility, right? Yeah, but you may spend it in addition to regular possibilities and a hero card. So you can roll another, basically another possibility. That would get you your last card. two points. Okay. All right. All right. With... As it lands in this flurry of carnage between you, your blood hitting the floor, but not really doing more showy than actual damage, uh, you can see that the membrane is starting to undulate, uh, and you can see dark shadows moving underneath it. The next card is Reversal! Uh, heroes go first and have Inspiration, which means everyone recovers two shock immediately. Maneuver and Taunt are the approved actions. Okay. So I'm outside the temple. Shock's gone. Are there any shock, shock. loose <laughs> twigs or pieces of wood or something laying around? Pieces of wood or just yeah. like outside? Yeah. Not in the city, but there are like, like you could break a bench. Cool. I would like- Is there a broken bench in the shrine? <laughs> there is. It's currently between <laughs> Lily and the man she killed with it. <laughs> okay. Terrible idea. I would like to maneuver with a wood shard and stab at the bubble thing. All right. So, let me ask, like, what are you trying? You want to pop the bubble yes. thing? Okay. There's there's a dagger that yeah threw at me, lay on the ground. Oh, cool. Maybe I'll pick up the dagger. Why are you looking at me like that? No reason. You'll be the first one it attacks. Uh, a maneuver? Tyrannic will have to reach So you're kind of trying to duck around. Who are you? You're trying, are you trying to duck around the hybrid or the priest? The priest. I ain't going okay. anywhere near the hybrid. Alright. It's fine. Everyone's fine. Is it? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> nope, not even a little bit. Oh, man. Okay. Thought it was an 11. Oh, uh, so much better. 14. That's an 11 maneuver. Around the priest? Yeah. I'm just like trying to... Uh, that is a good success. Do you also want to make him vulnerable or stymied? Stymied, because he's probably swooping at me next. <laughs> All right. So, do you want the good news or the bad news? Before you say anything, thanks, Evan. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back. News first, so it can only get better from there. Oh, well, now that I think about it, there's really a specific order that this has to happen. Oh, no, I got it. You <laughs> rip this membrane open, and there is a torturous cry oh, no. as the liquid and the goo come flooding out over the altar. The good news, well, so you wanted the good news last. Yeah. Uh, I did emerging on top of this altar uh, is tyrannic peaches's head sort of comes out of his right shoulder and out of his right shoulder blade is a single wing frantically flapping as if peaches is trying to rip itself free from tyrannic's body you can see the other side tyrannic has uh kind of a skin flap that goes from about his mid 
uh, forearm to about the bottom of his rib cage, and he turns and howls, and you don't see anything of your friend in there. There is only madness and rage. But the good news is you get nothing. Uh, it's always good to see a man bonding with his pet. That's right. Uh, this is like one of those uh, Instagram filters. Uh, the good news is you don't get any goo on you. And I get a destiny card. You do get a destiny card. Drama. All right, uh, that was that was V's turn. Who would like to go next? Does the liquid seem to be caustic? No, it's not just, sizzling. It's not sizzling. It does not smell good. It is the smell of a battlefield. The dead bodies, the churned mud, the the viscera that has been exposed to. Is the it air. possible to take my telekinesis and like push all of that viscera onto the high priest? coat him in his own yeah you want to do it as like a maneuver to like are you trying to basically like stymie him to make him vulnerable yeah i have a feeling if i try to burn dog boy it'd be for naught that's lily's job put the beast down <clears throat> edith and lady selva got your back hand time I tried. He shrugged me off. Yeah, but he's running low on possibilities. What's the high priest doing? Is he appalled that his creatures didn't fully... Uh, he has turned back, and he turns around with a manic look in, in his eyes. Now you will feel and taste the dread... Is he standing A Patala Ek and the Warden, his greatest servant. Oh, make a note of that. The Warden is a servant of Patala Ek. Sorry, I had to take notes for what we're really here for is to find the secret so we can put it to true death. <clears throat> Thank God Mark's looking out for us. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we got enough information, we could just leave. Sorry, Tyrannic. Should have been here. The priest is standing near the statue, though, right? One statue. One statue's down. There's One another, statue is There's another statue of. Yeah, but he's not standing by it, he's sort of standing in between the altar and the door. So like so I can't have it fall to hell. You like, could always try it. Yeah, you could I mean that's yeah. you could always try it. This is torque. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. You I'm could saying, always it try was something. like nowhere near it wouldn't do anything. It's like I can topple it. It's like yeah. You want a second to think? Yeah, give me a second to think. Edith or uh, Lady Salvo. Remember he's, the wolf boy stymied for now. Uh, the priest is stymied, the wolf the wolf, uh, the hybrid oh. is vulnerable. Vulnerable, that's right. Yep. Wrong turn. I shit the hybrid again. Go for it. Well, that was a one. Mishap. Thanks, Lily. Luckily, I'm not vulnerable to silver. I, Mark, I don't. Oh, wait, I have second chance. <laughs> I have second chance. Oh, I have second chance. Why oh, you have second chance? <laughs> Why are you guys being stymied? What are you doing with these cards? <laughs> Thank you, Maddie. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. Too yeah. much coffee. Thank you. Yeah, this has gone from Victorian horror to Laurel and Hardy horror. <laughs> Got cards of players like, oh wait. What'd you get on your reroll? You're roll? loyal, Laurel. Uh, well, not really any better. Um, I got a six. Do you want to spend anything on that, or are you keeping the six? I'm just going to go ahead and keep the six. The shot goes flying out the door, possibly to strike someone who is passing by. <laughs> uh, you yeah, do all the time at your night. You, hear, the you hear a shout from the door. Doc Shada says, grab your friend and grab the tablets. The wagon is coming. Lady Salvo. I will attempt to shoot the high priest. That is a mishap. <laughs> Second chance. 
Are we are we still in the time loop? What's, what's happening here? Roll again, second <laughs> chance. Oh, uh, Jesus. Okay. All right. Well, that was much better. Uh, can you actually? I don't know if you can. You give. I don't have any cards to to trade. Um, I'll just play this one. Can you play one? I think you can play. The second chance plays when anyone rolls a to to reroll any die. I believe. Is that what it says, okay. Mark? It doesn't say for me. It's, let me see. It just says play after mishap. Play after played Ross. after after a miss a mishap. No. I'm gonna allow it, Ross. Okay, Dickie. Well, uh, how does a thirty suit you? Well, no, I, I reject <laughs> past Jam's uh, ruling. No, uh, a thirty hits hits me just fine, but is more importantly, it hits the high priest for an outstanding success. All right, Vaughn dice. All right, twenty four AP two. Put that in your collection plate. <laughs> well, that's uh, that's three wounds and six shock. So I think he's going to spend that possibility to soak. That, that seems like a, yeah. that die is gone forever. We're going to spend another possibility. <laughs> All right, oh, that no. is that is the best possible roll I think I could have gotten without something exploding. Uh, Thirty-six is a plus eleven. Plus reality is a twenty-five. The shots go, uh, you clearly see them hit, but as he kind of turns, though the blood strikes the altar, he turns back and you can just see there are there are twin scars where you hit him. I'm running low on possibilities. Anton. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know where that are the right silver there. tablets attached to the altar? Or they're just no, they're just kind of leaning there against the bowls and everything. One has thin tendrils of smoke kind of rising from it, and a big uh, scar across the... So if we try to read it, we like... Hum, 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 hum. Yeah, it's definitely uh, Klata of Iraq, too. <laughs> <laughs> you have to cough there. Well, how are we going to get Tyrannic out? I can grab the tablet. Does anybody have any beef jerky? You can just... <laughs> we got a dead aspirant. <laughs> Maybe if we just, you know, talk about Gregoric. Like, hey, it's really Gregoric's outside. Or we can't see him. We see pain and madness. I, I know, but maybe, you know, the name of his true love would ring through. His true love. What you got, Anton? I will use telekinesis to grab the... I will attempt to use telekinesis to grab the silver tablets. Give it. Should I smack the wolf boy in the head with them since they're silver? I'm just going to grab him. Okay. In fact, I'm going to grab him and go right up to the door to V. V's in the room. She's oh. by the altar. Doc Shaw oh. is at the door. Yeah, I'm going to stab the face. Should I grab you with telekinesis too? <laughs> I'll just reach out and multi, grab him. Multi-action? <laughs> All right. You're going to multi-action it and let both I don't v. know if I can. Well, we'll... Uh, she's not that. I mean, well, she is mostly made of metal, so she's a little heavier. Do you want Vampire a Dinos restart? Because this is how you get Vampire a Dinos. <laughs> Let's activate telekinesis and see how strong I am. If I can grab you all. That's a 19. Oh, yeah. I was looking at the target is 8, so that's a good success. Plus two strength, so that gives me a 13, effective 13 strength. Can a 13 strength pick up? Uh, it has to be minus two to pick up both, right? Yeah. That was her. Would 11 strength pick them up? It's a, it's to the roll, not to the final strength. The minus two would be to the, the roll, not to your final strength uh, value. Uh, oh, 18. Yeah, it'll still be... All right, so, so uh, you see team. Anton kind of, yep, <laughs> V, you get ripped uh, uh, past uh, the priest. 
and the hybrid, and you see the, the two tablets kind of flying with you, and Anton deposits you by the door. Okay. Perfect. I'm guess I can't, if I have to see it, I can't just push you That's fine. all the way to Delhi. All right. <laughs> uh, at this point, the uh, the hybrid just leaps on, on you, Anton. First mistake. <laughs> All right, something about my board, Asia, popped into my head. All right, so, All right, so Anton, uh, he hits you with an outstanding success. It kind of oh, leaps no. down, and you see it tries to pick up Anton <laughs> by uh, the inside of his rib cage and lift him into the air. I'm kind of picturing the dirty dancing moment where he grabs me. <laughs> Uh, sure. It is nothing like it is like it is like that, but far more vicious. Uh, Sixteen plus the base of fifteen. Oh, AP that. AP two. So Anton, your toughness is ten. Yeah, lowers it to ten. This is a a thirty one. So up twenty one. That is four wounds and eight shot, Anton. Total of six. Because it's a minus on my roll and I have no possibilities left! Drum it! Oh, wait. I have a possibility. <laughs> uh, You're absolutely correct, Mr. Mr. Furious, but he was modifying he was he was modifying his strength, his final strength, not, not the, the roll. final psionic yeah. roll, which is what I was trying to get across. Yeah, yeah I needed a yeah. I should have done my roll. Changing. Thanks for uh, keeping me honest, though. Yeah, uh, 16, so I'll take some. So you will soak one wound and all of the shock. So three wounds? So three wounds, Anton. First oh. wound, so I'm good. Just, you hear something wet hit the ground at Anton's feet. And the high priest, who is focused on Lady Salvo, is now focused on V and... The tablets. The tablets. And he's going to try and maneuver his way through this room. Remember, he's timing. Oh, I know. <laughs> there we go. No. Uh, Lady Salvo, what is your maneuver? <laughs> 18. Maniacal. I'm sure he can, he can handle this. Uh, so no, he, he does not. He does not manage to, uh, do you wish to, like, he was trying to maneuver past you and, like, get around you and, you know, make you, uh, stymied. Uh, he fails. Do you want to stop him from leaving the shrine, or do you just want to, like, okay. Lady Sal is a lot more solid than, than she looks. <laughs> The way I see it is like he starts to go left and then I go left and then we're doing that dance where, you know, if he moves, then I move and we're suddenly in each other's way just like the whole time. <laughs> uh, letting out a multi-throated howl, uh, Tyrannic and Peaches <laughs> sort of leap into the air, flying very clumsily at uh, Edith, who is the only one there <laughs> with a six. Uh, Edith... It bowls into you, and the two of you are now wrestling on the ground. There's a lot of wing slaps oh. and just uh, copious amounts of, like, thick, mucusy spit as Ew. Tyrannic is just screaming in your face. Oh, look, he likes you. <laughs> um, when suddenly villains go first, heroes suffer a setback. Uh, that would be the wagon. The heroes sound. have suffered... <laughs> so here's the thing uh, because because this has been asked if you get a player's choice on an interaction attack against Tyrannic you can restrain him and get him out of here okay just tossing that out there 
but they get to go first. Uh, so, uh, uh, Edith, Tyrannic tries to eat your face. No. Ten. Tyrannic or peaches? Ten yeah, twenty. It, it depends. One has little teeth. One has big teeth. Fourteen uh, almost dose. Why not both? Yeah, we're gonna go with why not both. I, I rolled a forty-seven to hit. Who's Edith. Are you on, Ron? Shoot them! Chop! 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 Uh, there are there are tiny bites and then there are not so tiny bites as the two of them attack you. Michael, this is your fault. <laughs> I don't know that anyone would pin what's happening right here on Michael. This is probably totally my fault. Oh, Ross, oh, okay. Point. I'm poised uh, and ready, Lily. Don't you? Uh, Fifteen. 15. My brain is not running fast tonight, guys. I apologize. The processor is so intimidated. By the hippo, yep. <laughs> uh, two wounds and four shock, Lily. Hey, Lily, I tried. I know you tried. It's fine. Uh, I'm out. You're you're knocked out? You have no wounds? Uh, yeah. I don't have anything to play. Okay. Edith, we will come back to you in a second. Anton. It tries to rip you apart and rolls a one. <laughs> Does it just give you a nice hug? <laughs> Pats you on the Instead, back. it pulls you close <laughs> and its hot breath hits your oh. face as it just sort of licks the blood from the bottom of your rib cage all the way, like, like, who's a good puppy? Slobber just down the side of your oh. face. You, like your, your right eye goes fuzzy and you're not sure if it's from the three wounds <laughs> or from the viscous saliva currently clinging <laughs> to your face. You should uh, like the guy this. next to you, Lady Salvo, is once again, no, screw it, he's going to try this first. He's going to take a multi-action. Mm-hmm. And suddenly my dice can't roll higher than a five. I got a six. Thanks for proving me wrong, dice. <laughs> So a 15 total is only a plus two, which negates the multi penalty. So, uh, Lady Selva, what is your? Uh, what is your willpower or spirit? Ten. Ten. We're All so right. sorry, Michael. <laughs> so that is up by. That is just. Uh, uh, Lady Selva, your dexterity is diminished by the spell as you kind of feel like you're moving through lead, minus four to your dex. Ow. Which means, does my maneuver of eight let me get past you? <laughs> Even with the minus four? So he successfully cast the spell. You see him grab, put both hands on the side of Lady Salvo's head, and she seems to be moving slower, still faster than this guy. It is now your turn. I was making a note the chat's definitely saying you've made it weird. <laughs> Poor Michael's like, this is a disaster. No, no, the whole. No, I know, but poor oh. Michael's. Like, I rolled a one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I have that good. shirt that says you go to hit the orc and roll a one instead. <laughs> you instead caress him lightly on his back, and he is uncomfortable. Do, do you want to take out the priest and I try and talk to Tyrannic, or do you want to try and talk to Tyrannic? You need to maneuver Tyrannic. I'm okay. at penalties and in the embrace of oh. <laughs> large furry man. Hub, hub. <laughs> <laughs> be our second romance of the game with a large frame. <laughs> I'm I'm ready to go. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, go. Go so. for it, Lady Salvo. So All right, can cool. I so <laughs> I first of all, I'm playing my flurry card. Beautiful, good work. And uh, I'm going to make a maneuver to try and I want to pick up Edith and get her out of there. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to try and re- try, try a bit of a rescue. Um, I'm assuming that's a maneuver roll. It would be a maneuver roll, and this would be versus Tyrannic's maneuver. That's fair. Can I get him out too? Uh, sure. My, minus two to the penalty. You know, my, minus two. Okay. Because if I, I'm trying to get that player's call. <laughs> I, <I'll, laughs> don't worry. I know what the number is that you need to beat. Okay. So I'm at minus six, all told. Okay, great. Um, you know what? No, I'm not going to try. This this is too complicated to try and get both of them out. I'll just you got flurry, out. so you can. I, I got flurry, so I'm yeah. just trying to get Edith out. All right. Uh, okay. Yeah, that was 
probably wise. Uh, I got a 10 total. That is good enough to get Edith's unconscious body out from under the tyrannic peaches hybrid. Chad, so do we have a good I, name for that yet? I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull out my bull whip and lash it around her foot and use one of the, the statues to kind of like as a, as a fulcrum to kind of pull her out of there and uh, spin her maybe towards the exit. You definitely, she goes sliding right next to you, uh, V. Uh, the monster, the hybrid kind of looks down uh, from whatever's going on between uh, him and Anton as as it kind of goes sliding past towards the door. You can see Dakshada is frantically trying to wave down a couple of other people and is and is like calling in favors. And like people are like kind of running towards you, looking further down the street back the way you came. And she kind of points to Edith and they start to pick her up. Oh, so they're t they've got mm -hmm. Edith out. Okay, great. Let's never be said my NPCs don't help. All right, thanks, Ross. All right, who's going next? Uh, Edith, you're... I was going to try and first aid Edith, but you got... Oh, you can you can do that. Me. Well, should I first aid Edith, or should I try and lion tame Peach's Rannick? It takes 10 minutes to first Rannick. aid somebody, okay, so... Cool, I'm going to try and talk to Tyrannic. Just, just, just call for a truce, like a quick timeout. Hold, please. And just start playing elevator music. Um, okay, so what would this what role would this role be to try and talk to Tyrannic? Well, so here's the thing: you've got a couple of options. This is going to be an interaction attack. So, mm -hmm. are you trying to calm him down? That would be persuasion. Are you trying to be like sit? I would call that a, an intimidation. Uh, if you want to try and trick him, that's something else. If you want to try and like wrap him up and like bind him. Well, I'm gonna go with trick because that's my highest one. <laughs> that's and good because that is not as good for tyrannic. Yes, and I'm gonna be like, um, I'm going to try to appeal to the tyrannic half, not the peaches half, and I will shout out, tyrannic. There is, and I'm gonna try and not throw up as I say it. There's a tall glass of water out here <laughs> with a long beard asking about you. Uh, I came all the way from Tharkold. <laughs> Says, says, says he's got something to give you. <laughs> you see Tyrannic's one eye kind of, like, like one eye's still narrowed on you, but the other one kind of maybe grows a little hopeful. A little hopeful? Yeah. Said something about a feather? Give me the roll. What's your base My trick? My base trick is 12. Oh, and that's a 19. So that gets me to, oh, shoot. Yes, but I have to subtract three. I keep forgetting because I'm who it's on 15. Okay, so 15. You have no cards at all. Okay, so do you have anything to get three more points that will get you to a player's call? I'm gonna spend your. <sighs> Don't let me die. <laughs> that's a natural 20. Ho, 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 roll it again. So wait, what am I at now? 35? Uh, no, you're at, so your base roll is now 20, uh, 39, so go again. That's another natural 20? <laughs> I do have a glory card, too. <laughs> so now we're at, what, 59? So 39 plus... 20 is 59. 59. Oh, that gets me to 61. Let me just double check enough, this. Enough. I'm looking, I'm looking. It says play after a die roll of 60 plus. Did, did you have that one in your in your pool? Yep, she, she had, had it, it in the pool. This and it has a dinosaur on it, which I feel like it's very apropos. This calls for it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've shown my hand. Um, all right, so everybody gets a possibility. Starting with V, your extra card is Glory. Dang it. Edith Hero, attuned to Ross and Coup de Gras to, uh, to Mark. And so here's what, if, if I may, do you have any ideas for what you want the initial effect of Glory to be? I really would just like to appeal to Tyrannix. Oh, Tyrannic. Yeah. 
Um, so calm the beast as it were, um, and maybe help facilitate like the inner detangling. I don't know if I can with glory. You can't do that. Physically, but, but what I will do is I will say that uh, the the uh, the DNs for the separation ritual will go down because of the glory. All right. Oh, yep, possibility. Uh, as it spreads out, as this, uh, you see Peaches is still riled up, Tyrannic is kind of focusing on you, and and he just kind of collapses unconscious. Uh, the glory ripples out from this small shrine. You hear the sounds of three stones cracking. The altar shatters. The second statue comes falling down and lands on the first to reduce all of it to rubble. And more importantly, uh, not only because the sun has been out, right? You saw the dawn, but there's that smog over the city. It is as if a cool wind has blown off of the ocean and the clouds go spreading. And you all hear a piercing whistle cry and the beast that has Anton turns as if it hears something. Its eyes wide with fear drops Anton to the ground and goes barreling out the other side entrance, responding to its master's call. Interesting. I know, Jim. I'm sorry. I just what do you guys do? Back at me. No, uh, you can see that they've picked they've picked up Edith and they're starting to carry her away. There's. There's cheering, like people seem to, like where they were afraid of the wagon coming, somebody yells out, the wagon, it's retreating, it's turned around. And there's just kind of, there's this sense of hope and possibility that sort of is spreading through the area. Uh, what do you guys do? Uh, we, we need to go. Or? Yeah, we need to get Tyrannic and go. Get Tyrannic. And follow after Duck Shadow. All right. I need your help. Between two of us, we can pick him up. Doc Shadow says, I, I, have, I have a place. It should be safe. Hopefully it's safer than the last one. By the gods. <laughs> you are magnificent. <laughs> and she starts making her way. And as the scene fades, you can see the, you can see the warden's wagon uh, leaving sparks and trails of flame as it books it out of this area. And you can see that, like, people are kind of reverentially carrying Edith as they follow Doc Shada. People are pushing food into your hands, uh, spare ammunition that they had lying around, extra daggers, that sort of thing. And uh, Doc Shada takes you to this old, uh, even older part of town, and uh, kind of navigating through a dizzying maze of alleyways, small, older roads, you... Uh, yes, there's also cheering from the wedding party, as they, <laughs> they, they believe that this, this time has been blessed. Soon you find yourself in an abandoned, a, a, a old water cistern, um, and people have kind of brought blankets, they've brought, uh, there's a small fire going to kind of drive the chill of this underground crack. It stretches hundreds of feet above you, but it's cracked. Uh, uh, down the side, it looks like, uh, well, the opening does, because right, the well kind of comes down here. You can see old spiral uh, stairs. You can see the, the water marks on the side. And that is the end of the scene, so, or, or the end of the act. So I'm going to give everyone five experience points. Woo! We're in a test for Lily's defeat, or for Edith's defeat, because Lily is never defeated. Can I, can I roll my men? I need an hour. Um, well, so here's the thing. I'll give you 10 minutes to perform uh, first aid, but if you want to separate Tyrannic from Peaches, the longer you wait, the harder it gets. <coughs> Lily, that's Is your there any... Do you want me to first aid, or do you want us to work on the ritual for Tyrannic? Well, 10 minutes to um, get her up, and then do we know right, so what you, we have you to do? suffered wounds, by the way, right? That dropped you to uh, zero. Yes, many, uh, many did it, wounds. Did it drop you to zero or beyond your maximum? So did it drop you to negative? To zero. To zero? Let's 
suffers wounds beyond her maximum. Ross, am I reading this right? That she'd have to go to negative one to test for defeat? That's my understanding. Greg? I like that you know that Greg was watching us. Was about to oh, say. yeah, he just commented. Was that, the, was that the comment? No, no, I'm waiting for... Oh, okay. Waiting for an answer, chat. Let's go. I believe, I believe, <laughs> as I am... No, no, yeah, characters can't suffer more wounds than they are... Uh, yeah. So do you have four wounds, Lily, or do you have three wounds? You got four? All right. So Lily is just, or Edith is just unconscious. So first aid can bring her back. First aid. I took hard to kill. Oh, well, yeah, for anyone else, that would have definitely done it. All right, uh, give me the uh, give me the first aid roll. Damn, Edith. Edith is very hard to kill. She is very hard to kill. <laughs> uh, so you need a 14 for Leo. And I knew that I would need extra wounds and extra shock, so I took hard to kill and endurance. I'm gonna have to use that possibility because that was a four. Yeah. So uh, fourteen. Uh, no, I can't do it. I get to a thirteen. Anybody got anything to add? You're out of combat. You can use anything. Action. All right. I have a hero. Uh, yeah. Action adds three to the test. So. So that would get me into sixteen. Okay, that will heal Lily of one wound. Edith, you are Edith. You get one wound back. Do we know what we have to do to get Tyrannic back? So Tyrannic is unconscious, lying on the ground. And as you ask that, Doc Shada says, "I've, I've heard of joining rituals like this. Do tablets? Do they help? Possibly." Where's the key phrase? <laughs> Scorched out by someone. <laughs> like it seemed like a good idea at the time. Okay. <laughs> Doc Shada looks up at you and she's like, "This will make it far more difficult." That we have it, or that they're scratched. That is that it's scratched. But the glory helps, right? Uh, the glory does help. All right, chat. Would. Uh, so the first step. Would psychometry. Be, psychometry, I will allow, is the first. You lick the tablets. <laughs> uh, they Let's taste the of uh, blood and burnt silver. Come on. And a bit of, a little bit like hard light. You're not sure how you know what that is. It's a little effervescent. It's from the cyber baby scene. Lots a of bit bubbles. Of frankincense. <laughs> Precog. Glad you handled those possibilities out, cause Oh guys, hold hold on. Before we go into this dramatic task, this is a new a new act. So everybody recovers. We get four. Oh, yep. Because of, of the, the glory. glory. And it lasts for this round. You guys are all at four glory, and let me hand out cards. How many you? Your max size is increased by one while the glory is in. So how many? Instead of four, we get five. Yep. So you need three. All right. I'm, I'm, and we can trade in cards we don't want. Yes. So do you want to keep both of your cards? We're yeah, I want to keep glory. We're gonna do a little bookkeeping here. Uh, willpower. Opponent fails. <laughs> and reality search. Eat it, uh, Lady Sally. You need four. Coup de gras. Action. Action, adrenaline. That won't bite me. Uh, <laughs> Lily, willpower and inspire. This is gonna give me two, I guess. Just two? Oh. Uh, hero and seize the initiative. All right, Mark, what did you get on your psychometry roll? Hero, hero and what was your one? Seize the initiative. Or also, it's a new act, so we get new Cosm cards? Yes. Anybody want new Cosm cards? No. <laughs> no. I, I'm going to stick with mine. I have a good one that we will need. Marked for death. Isn't that a given as a storm knight? But it's got effects. All right, Mark, what'd you get? Sixteen on my precog, which is a good success. I see images of any unusual, intense uses of the object it's for primes, that kind of stuff. But I can also see how it was used. Maybe I can infer what they were saying. So the first step of it. this would would have been translated translation, but I'm going to allow you with your psychometry to basically divine 
the the right. You know that this is this is dark. The darkest magics. Um, this is this is something that you have never seen or even heard of in the uh, in Tharkold, Anton. This is the merging not just of flesh but of form and binding the dual spirit in service of Patala Ek. You think you understand how to reverse it. So the first step is done. So essentially, um, what's going to have to happen is you're going to have to uh, find a source of great purity. You are going to have to cut, uh, you're going to have to find a source of purity to sort of banish the darkness. That's B. I'm just saying, these are the steps that you understand, the next three steps to, to free Turan. The second one is somebody's going to have to lend their spirit, kind of adding a third soul into the mix, imperiling their soul. And then the, the fourth one is a very careful separation of the two forms. It should weaken the, the thing enough, but there will be cutting and... Uh, Something very dexterous? Yes. That's probably Lady Salvo's job. To slice away the good from the bad. So you said translation... Uh, Something of purity. Yeah, you got the translation part done. You're on step B. What's the plan? Wait, I, I volunteer is this, my... is this like physically cutting something from something else? Uh huh. Like with a scalpel. Yeah, I think you have the highest dex. Or a sterile knife. Or an unsterile knife. It's tyrannic. He's probably fine. Does, does anyone does anyone have a knife? Yeah, they were giving us extra knives. Yeah, you got a ton of knives now. You Woo! have. We have a bouquet. You of have knives. a bouquet of knives. Okay. Yeah, I will. I will stand ready for that particular phase. Okay. I, I volunteer to step in, but quite honestly, Anton's not sure if he has a soul as you guys understand them. Okay. Um, so, let me. So, um, so Savile's going to do the surgery. Edith, which part do you want to take? Um. I want to <laughs> draw lots. I I don't have a preference. Okay. Um, and then how is Doc Chalda eating us? Oh, she's not. She's just kind of watching. Okay. Taking notes. Um, I suddenly hear Lady Gaga, and I'm very confused. Yeah. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> All right, what's the plan? Um, okay, so we need an item of purity, someone to lend their spirit, and a severing of the form. Okay. Um, I mean, spirit, so what, what are we going to go on? Oh, I, I will lend my spirit then, because I have the strongest spirit, probably. Okay, I'm like, I have a spirit like by, of seven. By the attribute, okay. lend the spirit. I mean, that's what you're looking for. Yeah. Spirit or willpower. Yeah. Um, okay. I'll do that. Then... Not sure if, I tell you, I'm not sure if I have a soul, because I'm not really like you. I, but I will lend my strength of spirit. Okay. We'll um, pull out. V has a crucifix that, not crucifix, um, what, rosary. Like, okay. <laughs> rosary that she Your keeps holy on cat her five four cord? Yeah. Um, but it's actually, you know, an old school rosary. It's not, okay. it's not technology touched. All right, go for it. Uh, you're going to give me, in the second step, you're going to give me a, um, you don't have, uh, this will be a, a, uh, spirit roll or a willpower, uh, test to, to do this. Using my, my willpower? Uh, she's going first, though. Oh, so they're all willpower checks? Uh, willpower, willpower, okay. and, uh, melee weapons. So, but I am still wounded, correct? Yes. Are you describing surgery as a melee weapon? I was. Well, w for this thing, I'm going to have it'll be dex, it'll be dex, or in this case, I mean, it's not. It's it's brutal. It's not necessarily a a. Uh, All the doctors in the audience are horrified. Like, wait, that's what? fair. Wait, what? This is not surgery. This is a separation of two uh, forced hybrids. He's using a dirty machete. Uh, yes, actually, the uh, the chat is right. 
for you guys, this is a corruption test, oh, essentially. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what does that mean? That means if you don't roll well, something bad happens. Okay, so I rolled, I used possibility, I got to 18. Because, okay, well, so full honesty, a one on a possibility is still a 10, correct? A one on a possibility. Okay, great. So that gets me to five, minus two, or three is two, and I will use my newfound willpower to get it to 16 total. All right. Oh wait, that's my turn. Oh, there is a, uh, as, as uh, V kind of kneels at the twin heads of this thing, and begins to go through the rosaries, praying through the prayers uh, known in the cyber papacy. Um, you guys can hear this crackling noise that kind of comes from uh, like her dex speakers, but you can clearly hear uh, the sounds of other chanting sort of joining with her on this. And Tyrannix kind of, uh, his fitful sleep, he sort of grows very still. Breathing a lot more peacefully, Peaches kind of nuzzles up against his face. Anton, give me a corruption test, sir. You mean willpower, right? Yeah, that's the same thing. <laughs> I know, it threw me for a loop down. Uh, oh, yeah. great, Saint of Synthetics, hear me. <laughs> I roll bad, but I want to roll better. Okay. So that's a 19 on my spirit. A 19 on your spirit roll. All right, you can see as Anton kind of gets in there, this member of the race, this outsider to humanity who's sort of been brought in. Edith, you're kind of propped up on the side watching all of this, uh, clearly having had the, uh, the bejeebus. And that shrine just all over the floor is Edith's bejeebus. Uh, you see Anton also kneel down next to him, and there is this, you can clearly see this, uh, this light blossom, uh, kind of almost like a halo around Anton, but also around Tyrannic and Peaches. And for the first time, you can kind of see the spiritual seams where this right tried to bond the two of them together. You both intrinsically recognize that had it actually been completed, there would not be two separate entities. There would only have been what? the hybrid. You're guessing in service to the, the warden because the other hybrid, the whistle blew and, and he came. Uh, as this is all going on, Lady Salvo, you can see the seams. You can see the constructed flesh, the um, the ectoplasm that has kind of joined these two th beings together, you're pretty sure you could cut them apart. You're not too worried about the flesh that you would be cutting as it is a hybrid of both theirs and reality. So go ahead and give me your your uh, your role. No Melee weapons, right? Well, let's see how well this does. I'm not particularly good at this. Uh, but I am still using my powers, so okay. there's that. I will try to strike on the beat, and that maybe will help me. Ah, okay. <laughs> am I still minus four dex from that spell? No, the spell is over. Okay. Mainly, yeah. All right, so I am currently at a 16. Is that enough, or do I need more? Um, uh, Ross, you need two more points. I play Adrenaline. Nice. All right, in, in a wet tearing noise as uh, Lady Salvo sort of cuts apart uh, where these two have been joined. Uh, you can see that the flesh on the one arm starts to kind of wither as she, with a final tearing noise, pulls an unconscious Peaches away from Tyrannic. The two of them passed out on the floor. Edith laying against the side. Doc Wait, Shada. Say Peaches! <laughs> Both of you take two shock from the exchange. 
And when we come back, when we come back next week, hopefully Ooh. you guys will find out more about the warden, what is going on, what these strange rites are, and who Patala Ek is. Well done, everyone. Chat, thank you for all of the support. I really appreciate it. And we will be back in uh, next week with more Torg. Uh, tune in on Tuesday nights. Check out all the other great shows that Ulysses has. Uh, I'm very partial to our Thursday night show as well. That includes uh, Maddie and Lily. If you have not checked out our Fading Sun show, check it out. Uh, if you are not part of uh, the chat, you definitely need to be engaging. The 98% the of the fun I have running Torg is, be is well, that's not fair. Some percentage is for running the tour, wow. but the other percentage is definitely like interacting, interacting with the chat. Uh, I'm also partial to Fading Suns, as I said. Check out all the other great shows. You should check out, there's two people from this show that do a great uh, discussion of myth, Tales of Legend. Uh, Eric, and uh, Eric does myth, uh, Dawn of Heroes, the board games, Myth, Tales of Legend, obviously being the role-playing game that will be coming out soon-ish in the relative time frame. Uh, you can check out Fading Sons has shows, Heretical Musings. Uh, Ulysses Worlds is a great show where uh, you can just find out all the great stuff that's going on in Ulysses uh, stuff. If you like Torg, if you like Fading Sons, if you like any of the games that Ulysses does, please follow us on Twitch, follow them on, on YouTube and on other social medias. If you like what we do, check us out on the Iconic Podcast uh, and Iconic Production Channel. Uh, you know, follow us there as well. So until next week, I am JM the GM. These are the horsemen. And we will be back in a week with more Torque. Until then, please stay safe, stay healthy, and stay gaming. Have a good one. Bye-bye.